All right, here we go. So episode number seven of... The Handbag Husband. The Handbag Husband, yay! So in this episode, we have finally been able to do our first legit no BS appointment at our Home Hermes boutique here in the good old US of A. And uh, we got some stuff for sure that we're gonna share with you all. But I mean, it was also a visit that was so important that even somebody else came along. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> And sometimes, you know, you just need to have the final approval of the boss lady, so uh, I had to bring her along. But we did our first appointment uh, and we picked up some really amazing things. Um, and uh, we get a chance to see uh, a lot of other amazing things that, of course, we couldn't buy. Uh, we got a chance to familiarize ourselves with how things work in the United States and to get to know our essay just a little bit better and <laughs> probably drink a little too much espresso. Now, before we get to it, if you like these videos, uh, if you like the content, if you like the Hermes eye candy, and I'm talking about the bags, okay? The arm candy. <laughs> the arm candy. Um, please, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, because, well, I mean, it really does help the channel to grow, and we are super thankful for that. Thank you. But also, uh, because you get notifications when our newest videos get put up on Wednesday. All right, now, let's get to the video. So starting this off, let's uh, look at the scoreboard, our Hermes scoreboard here. So at currently for US appointments, we are at four visits to the US boutique. So three in Las Vegas, if you watched that one or didn't watch that one, go and check it out, I'll put a link. And our one uh, Topanga opening, grand opening visit. So we're at four, we're at zero dollars spent and zero bags offered to start off. Now, this of course is going to be the first real appointment that we've had and real by a meaning that we set up a time to meet with the SA and we've, you know, we're gonna go in and um, we're going to really kind of talk about where we are in our Hermes quest and kind of what we're looking for and what our hopes are and ultimately what we, uh, what we really want. I feel like this is the first in a store in the US I've ever been into. Maybe, huh? Usually you just wait out, you lurk around yeah. outside. <laughs> I judge people all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think it must be. Yeah, I didn't even go to the airport one. I feel like this is the first one in the US. Yeah. Yeah. And, and obviously, this is going to be kind of the first time that uh, the wife you get to meet our SA, uh, who's pretty awesome. Uh, we got a chance to put some in-person input in while I'm in the uh, boutique, which is pretty cool as well. I like that having a little bit of backup just in case I need it. And also, I have final approval if we need to buy stuff, which we did, and also get that purchase history going. So it's kind of a big appointment to really lay the groundwork for the rest of our Hermes quest. No, uh, and not, we're not journey. I hate the word journey. <laughs> so we're not necessarily only looking for bags in this appointment. Yes, of course, if they offered it, you know, I'm not going to say no. But uh, it has to be the right bag, and it has to be the right color, and all that stuff. But really, this is again the beginning foundation, the laying of our hopefully. relationship, hopefully, with our uh, Hermes SA and the boutique and all that kind of fun stuff. So my expectations are um, one that there's a couple things I'm looking for. One is a money clip as well as the Saga Depeche 41, uh, the single or the double latch, which, you know, the double latch seems like it's pretty hard to get. A Birkin 40, which seems to be pretty exclusively hard to get. I, I guess they don't make a lot of them anymore. And, you know, maybe some other sort of leather accessory or Hermes good that uh, just kind of add to what I'm wearing to the office or we're mm -hmm. out and about. So I don't know, what are, your, what are your expectations for this visit? I was looking for a riding crop. Because when you... The riding crop. Riding crop. For the horses. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because when you went in for the Topanga grand opening, uh -huh. there was two, there were two on the, the, whatever, the boxing, the showcase mm -hmm. display. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we have been trying to find that for quite some time now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Paris didn't have it. Like, Europe didn't have it. London didn't have it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's one of the only melee, I mean, I guess it's one of the only melee implements that Hermes produces. So, I mean, <laughs> it's got that going for it, for sure. Not the first thing I would have thought about, but uh, definitely not the last thing. Uh, all right, uh, so also that, what did you bring uh, to the appointment? What bag did you bring? It's the bag that I use the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should know better. <laughs> the, the Depeche. 25. So it was the Kelly Depeche 25, and I, I, I'm gonna butcher this like a butcher shop, but is the po Poche? Hoye, uh, the Terry, the is it a canvas. Canvas? Yeah. No, it wasn't canvas. Sure, but it's, it's like not canvas. It's easiest to it's understand. It's poche toye. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, with five Berenia uh, leather, like kind of the straps Berenia. or lining. Yeah, yeah. it's the Berenia uh, on, on lining the on there and gold hardware, yes. uh, which is pretty amazing. Because I saw one online, but it had the palladium hardware. Doesn't look as good. Exactly. Doesn't look as good. So, so that's what she brought. And what did you see 
that we were not able to buy, but <laughs> we definitely were able to drool over. Um, the Kelly Cut Shadow. Ooh, yeah. I have, yeah. Been, eyeing, I have yeah. been eyeing that one for, like, since you <laughs> sent me the picture. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was still there. I mean, we I mean, had, it was there at the grand it's opening. It's just yeah. the display, display pieces, you know, that's like, the yeah. like Himalayan, yeah. the, the, the picnic basket, the, 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 the Kelly picnic. Yeah. And the shadow, probably. Just uh, display, display pieces and then just rotate to another source, or eventually we'll let, let it out to the way. Now, do you think they really are uh, play only, or do you think if you came in and you had the best like purchase history and you were like top tier client, they would actually sell it to you? I think there's some certain time. I think I have heard someone say it. One of the essays, I'm not sure. They say like, oh, it will display to a certain amount of time, and either it's get rotate and or it will be released to for sale. Oh, I see. Don't quote me on that, but I think I have heard some of say that. Mm. But, and it makes sense, right? Yeah. It makes sense. Hmm. And that one was not painting, that one was the Kelly crop that I asked. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so the other ones that I saw and we got photos of, so I'll put them up here because I know you all like that. Uh, the Kelly doll. I your face. <laughs> the Kelly doll, the one with the hands, which I thought was pretty cool. It was quite small though. I think it's like they, they have, 25 they, or something like that, or even smaller than that. They have multiple sizes. But the one that we saw, it was pink with the crocodile. Think, I don't even think it was 25. It was very small. It almost looked like it was just like a display model, sure. like a miniature. Sure. Um, the Kelly Depeche 25, so what you brought, but it was in gray and I think Dogo leather maybe? Uh, so that was kind of cool. The Cheval de Orient uh, coffee set, which they served us in, but they didn't have for sale, which I was kind of like, man, we'll just take this. <laughs> just borrow this one on the way home. <laughs> Additionally, they had the Kelly Classique to go wallet in pink exotic crocodile. So they had that stacked next to the Kelly doll, as well as a Zipango PM Sean de Ange. That's the one that I want. <laughs> yeah, me That's too. New and you, I pointed to you and you're like, oh, what's this thing? Well, yeah, of course I want it now. It'll fit perfectly in my bag when I put like the pens and pencils yeah. and all that kind of wires. Instead and stuff. of the airplane. <laughs> the airplane yeah, bag. we've been using the, the business class airplane yeah. bags the whole time. Yeah. It's class. Yeah. Uh, and then a uh, silken change purse as well as the Bastia change purse uh, we saw as well. Um, I think they were just okay. Yeah, they were okay, but we, we didn't pick them up. But I got footage of it, so I figured sure. I'd mention it. Sure. So, all right, so now the big question is <laughs> what did we get? All right, so uh, let's talk about what we got. And the way we're gonna do this is going to be by price. So we're gonna uh, bring out the least expensive stuff and work our way up to the most expensive stuff uh, that we got in the appointment. So first up, we got something that comes in a box like this. <laughs> it's not a wallet. It's not a wallet, nor see, is it a sorry, money clip. There's a, oh, they had a sticker. I've never seen this before. Oh, what's it saying? This, this one is. Oh, it just says like yeah. where it's at, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's get this one open. And uh, we're doing the, your favorite of videos, yeah. the unboxings. I hate it. <laughs> like, open it! Open it's so stressful because I'll open never- Open the damn box! <laughs> it's so stressful because I'll never get this bow right. It'll never be yeah. as good Which ever is, again. It's, when it's open, it's open. All right, so what do we have? Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, you got the little the booklet the, the for the Cheval de Orient. And yes, it's the only French word I know at this point. <laughs> and we got, ta-da! It is a bowl, perhaps a rice bowl, maybe. This is a soup bowl. Oh, it's a soup bowl. Yeah, the it rice bowl kind of is small it's for a little, a little bit of soup. How much soup do you need? Um, but it, it obviously matches with the, uh, the, the plate that we have here. It has a, one of the things that I think is really strange in here is that the horse is kind of chubby, right? Like the legs are really skinny and the, and the <laughs> horse so is- muscular. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, he's very muscular, but he's kind of chubby. Um, and I think, Maybe that's the type of horse because it's those weird like Mongolian horses or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it is screen printed. Uh, the screen print is applied by hand and it has 24 karat thread kind of embossed in there. Um, and it is based on, I guess like Persian miniatures is what they said. 29 color palette, as well as uh, this is one piece of the 55 piece collection in total. Uh, we definitely don't have that many of them, <laughs> but, we have uh, many, but they're not, not 55. Not because, yeah. uh, and sooner or later, <laughs> we're gonna get there for sure. So that's the first thing we got is the uh, Cheval de Orient uh, soup bowl. So we'll set that there. I don't know, you wanna hold on to yeah. this? No, I'll, I'll put it back together. Just put it back together. No. Ah. All right, so next up in our little haul here uh, that we got from our first appointment is one that comes in a box that looks like this. 
It's okay. It's like the chocolate that Valentine's It does feel very chocolatey for sure. Here we go. Are you all ready? <laughs> Which is the Cheval d'Orient dinner plate. And I think, oh, ooh, careful, there's careful. two of them in there. Yes, one, two, you and I. <laughs> we got two of them. Uh, but um, I think that this one, well, the thing I really like about this one is the kind of Persian rug design that goes on there. It looks very different from the other plate that has mm -hmm. just kind of like a, 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 almost like a collar or like a thin lining. I like that very thick kind of red no, flowery. No, if, if you look at the edge, it's exactly the same. Look at it. Yeah, the edges are the yeah. same. The edges are exactly the same. Uh, but it's this internal mm -hmm. kind of plate. I guess because when you're putting a plate on side, that's really what you see. You don't see the inside. And yet another chubby Horsey. horse. I don't know if you can see the chubby horse in there. You know, I feel like I empathize very much so with this chubby <laughs> horse. And on the back as well, uh, it's got the um, kind of a, the name of it as well as the hallmark uh, from uh, the folks who make it for Hermes. And so that is, uh, we got two of them. Yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Well, what was the reason you wanted to get this? This one actually was not on my radar, sorry. Uh, but the SA showed it to me mm. because because she came and she was showing us the the tea set the six tea mm -hmm. set oh, yeah. we already had that one she was like oh maybe you want you you like this mm -hmm. um, so like, yeah but I like the horse this one's nice so why not and also at this point we're just kind of pot committed to the Cheval d'Orient right like so. we have enough of them that if they pull out one that we don't have you kind of kind of have to be like I guess all right I guess if we need no the there were two other the big serving plates yeah can yeah take. those are obnoxiously large though. i think it's because there's no horses we might eventually get it yeah but yeah 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 i mean these are bigger than most of the plates i mean you usually eat on very small size plates just in general we don't yeah. really have a oh, reason for yeah. such a large one but yeah. uh yeah all right so cheval de orient uh dinner plate yes plates plates two plates two all right next up is a, a, an object <laughs> that I know I'm gonna regret that we got. <laughs> Wait, or maybe not. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, is that when you have a box shaped like this from Hermes, people really <laughs> wanna know. <laughs> Everyone's Everyone. like, what is store. that? Yes, I said this is the only one she's ever sold, maybe. Uh, maybe she sold one other, she wasn't she was sure, but. She surprised, like why do we want it? Yeah, I think they usually, I think they usually uh, have it just as a decoration, right? They have no, it mounted around. Too. That's yeah. what I want for decoration. Something that a lot of people really, really looked at. They gave, they definitely gave us like a strange look while they were walking by. I saw one and it's basically turned her neck and she walked past to try to get like herself. And she was like this, yeah. like turning. I was like, what is that? I guess, what do you think it is, right? If you had to guess what it was, put it in the comments before we open it up. Put it in the comments what you think it is, because I mean, case. Yeah, yeah, basically. Or maybe like a like a, a conductor's wand or something. Yeah. All right. So let's get this one open. I'm not opening it. Yeah. That's fine. You don't have to open it. No one's gonna force you to open it. I'll open it. Careful. There we go. And. Voila. Voila. Oh. <laughs> That's not. All right. Also, here we can go. Can I get another another another? Yeah. These bag. are cool, huh? Yeah. You could put like a umbrella in there. What is it? Yeah, finally, after multiple years of trying to get one, yeah. <laughs> we finally got one. Careful, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, I think it's, I mean, obviously you said the purpose that we're gonna have, because we don't have any horses, uh, and I don't think we'll ever any, get any horses, is more of uh, just, you know, it's, it's a nice decoration. It's yeah. kind of cool. Uh, it's interesting to have around. It feels good, right? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so sturdy, and it's like light. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Uh, and so, like she said, this is the only one that the SA said that she's ever uh, been able to um, been able to sell, or she's ever sold. They had another one that was actually in orange, which was the Hermes orange, which is a fine color, but it just looked very strange on this. It made it look more like I was working at an airport or something, <laughs> feeling like an air traffic controller telling the planes to come in. So I thought the the, the natural leather brown would be good. Um, it's made with aniline goat skin and hackberry wood, which also is another word for sugarberry, uh, which is another word for you too. Aw, my sugarberry. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's quite flexible as well. Careful, so you could if you like, break it. <laughs> <laughs> then I break you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool and I'm excited to have it. And uh, you know. It's, so this is the piece that's like you were only asking. This is the piece I'm looking forward for this appointment. Like, that's right. This is what, so this, this is, is one I thing want. on your list of things yes. that you wanted. Yes. And, and we've actually been, when we, were in, uh, when we were in Vegas, we asked for it. And we've been in multiple, um, multiple boutiques and asked for it and they usually were like, no, we don't really see that. But turns out Hermes does still actually sell a lot of horse stuff as yes. well. The yeah. lady said, you know, they sell 
saddles and things like that, but we don't have any horses. So that is the uh, riding crop. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'll let you uh, deal with that. All right, and then the second to last thing that we got was another thing that was on our list uh, from the things that we would buy in our first um, video about uh, the things that we would buy and what we wouldn't buy. Uh, so it comes in a box, looks like this. And uh, it's something that we had had our eye on for quite some time. It's very cool. It has a nice, very kind of art deco feel to it. So let's get this one revealed here. Bye. <laughs> it it's so annoying. <laughs> Which is the Cellier change dish. Look at that. Yeah. Change tray? Change tray, perhaps? Dish? dish? Do you call it dish? I, I can, you can, it can, you know, you can say here or there, whichever. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Um, yeah, because it does have some very nice velvet. That is, feel that. Touch it. Just touch it. It's so, use the other hand. It's so smooth. Use the back of your hand. Yeah, that's so nice, huh? I'm just gonna put it like this and use it. It's getting dirty though, huh? So we have the uh, Hermes Cellier uh, tray, uh, which will be great to have on the desk or maybe near the door or something like that. You can put your keys, yeah. put your change in there. Um, it and comes in three colors, I think. There's this, the red yeah, one. Yeah, there's this there's one. There's green, and there's, then the, like, the dark a blue. blue. I think yeah. it's a black one too, no? I don't know about that one. Huh. I'm not sure. Well, yeah. We chose the red one because it kind of fits more with just our general style, I guess. The black one would be fine. The blue one would be fine too. The green one, mm, maybe bad. Yeah, I don't like green. Yeah. Um, but it, it is obviously in a beautiful red. It's got a kind of like early 20th century design to it. One of my favorite parts, velvet goat skin. Oh, so soft. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's decorated using uh, chromolithography. Oh. Whatever that means. <laughs> that sounds smart. Chromolithography. Yeah, that's the right word. It was designed by one Benoit Perrier Emery. Uh, and oh, it evokes... Benoit. Oh, Benoit, that's a nice, it's a cool Benoit. name. A couple of Benoits. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it designed evoking a French garden on the rooftop of the Hermes Boutique in Farnborough. Where? The Hermes Boutique No, I know, in but Paris. Like, where is it on the roof? I don't see that. The one we went and saw. Yes, but like this thing. No, it's supposed to evoke it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not exactly the design there. Oh, you know what? The, uh, maybe, the, maybe the Hermes lettering. Oh, hmm. maybe? Yeah, 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 it could be the Hermes lettering that was on there. Okay. Uh, we'll have to put a, a little video of that up there as well. Um, but yeah, so it's got a 1930s, early 20th century Art Deco sign. Very cool. Feels very nice. You can tap on a little bit. But if we have this one, can you grab that one? Uh, yes. So this one is the ashtray. Yeah. We don't smoke, but I think it's cool. Um, and we're gonna use it as the change tray too. But if you, you feel it, right? This one is way heavier. Yeah, it's definitely heftier. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got a different color as yeah. uh, the sheepskin on the back. Careful, careful. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I, I'm more like this one. This one feels like it's more kind of Southern California, cool, like equestrian sure, sure. rancher. Yeah. This one feels more kind of modernistic yeah. uh, vibe to it. So I'm glad we got this one. So now we have a his and a hers, I guess. Uh, I guess yeah. we'll figure out which one is his and sure. which one's hers. We can fight for it. Uh, so that is the Hermes Cellier uh, change tray. What do you want to call plate? Plate. All right, so I'll let you take care. That one? Okay. Get a little sip here. All right, so next up is an object that we got, and sadly, we didn't get a bag box for it. Um, because I think it's good, so it's forcing us to actually use it and not store, or forcing me to yeah. use it. So otherwise, I would store it in a box. But I like having the box. Sure, uh, the definitely. feeling of having like a big orange Hermes sure. box, I do, mean, it feels pretty remember? good when we were in Paris and yeah. we bought the blanket. Yeah. They didn't want to give us a box. Yeah, we had to fight for the box. Hey, but if you got, got, yeah, we got right. the box. You got to demand for, a box. For, for the, the horse blanket. Yeah. yeah. It was a nightmare to get back to the US, yeah. but we got a box for it. Um, yeah. So this one didn't have a box and we've been talking about it for quite some time because we have a naked couch. You know, it's, it's sitting Sad. over there with all, all any of the accoutrement. Uh, so it, the next thing that we got and the last thing we got and the most expensive thing that we Perfect. got, uh, was it? And it's got the cool nice bag. It's very fluffy. Uh, which is a Tattersall pillow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Put that right there. Uh, which is pretty cool, right? And they had two of them. They had one that was the darker color one, and this is the lighter color yeah. one. It's got a very kind of equestrian 
themed uh, vibe to it. You know, it's kind of the loops and the leathers and things like that. Yeah. Oh, that feels real nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is made from 90% Merino's wool. That's the medieval wool that would get you killed if you stole it from the Spaniards in, uh -huh. you know, 13th century. Highlander. Uh, yeah, there can be only, only one. one. <laughs> and also as, as well as 10% cashmere. So, you know, I think it's maybe like just this portion's cashmere. <laughs> Um, it's uh, got polyester filling and it's finished in blanc stitch. Wait. Wait. No, it's finished in blanket <laughs> stitch. <laughs> blanket, sorry. I was translating it. Really blanket stitch. It uh, and actually, it's made in Scotland. So it's not made in Paris. It's made in Scotland. Uh, it's designed by Henri de Orgnet in 1980. And originally was actually a silk scarf design. Uh, but eventually they moved over, over to a pillow, obviously. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, Tattersall, the name of it, uh, or the where it got its name from, um, is one of the most prestigious equestrian auction houses, uh, that's places where they sell horses, uh, in England. It was founded in 1766. Uh, and also, according to the tag, dry clean only, baby. Dry clean only, so. Uh, I don't know, I, I, this could be one of those pillows that we hide from everyone so they don't get dirty, but only put them out when no one's here. No, we gotta use it. Yeah. But I think it, yeah, it right. was kind of confused. It's like, oh, do you want just one? Remember? Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I want to feel the quality of mm. it first, and then maybe we'll go get another one. Yeah. And maybe, then we'll put it up on the like and see how it looks. I feel like we need at least four on that count. Yeah. It's pretty long. Yeah. yeah. Do they make long pillows, though? Do they make like, long ones? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think put it on there, see how it fits with the aesthetic yeah. and design yeah. and all stuff. And if we want another one, then uh, we can get another one. That other one that was all, like, the dark color was quite nice as well. Just, yeah. The reason why we chose this one um, is I because, chose it. well, we we were there together. Sure. Uh, fine, then you. Why did you choose this one, huh? Huh? Because it's so, because other one has more color. So like this beige, mm -hmm. it matches with the count. So, so this, you're talking this, about the lighter color. Yeah, yeah over yeah, here, over yeah, here. Yeah. It matches perfectly with that count yeah. color. That's all I remember. And it'll also go nicely with the blanket that we do have, which is gray, but it'll, it'll kind of blend all together, the colors, yes. you know, the color palette. So. So yeah, that is the uh, the most expensive and the last thing that we got out of this uh, out of this. Uh, this would be the most useful one, though. I don't know. You got the riding crop, the change disc. I feel like I'm going to use every day. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I gotta just gotta find some change that no one has ever again. <laughs> so all right. Uh, so that is the pillow one. I'll let you Stop. address that one. All right. So at the end of the day, uh, the scoreboard has changed a little bit. So we were at five visits to Hermes boutiques in the United States. Uh, we are at a total of... Nice one. Oh, yes. For you is one. Yeah, so you visited one boutique. I have visited five boutiques, which is not a terrible ratio. Um, the total amount spent at this point, $2,845. And uh, we are still at zero quota bags offered. But realistically, I don't think we were expecting to have it at that That's rate. That's before tax, though. Just if Oh, yeah, this is before this tax. Is for internet purposes yeah and also your... like california tax is like 10 percent or something stupid so <laughs> you know it's way more cheers, money with the tax cheers right? to that. yeah <laughs> cheers cheers to that. To... Oh. all right so that is it for today's handbag husband episode seven and uh, i really hope that you enjoyed the video and the bag candy and all the stuff that we got going on there i guess we don't really see that many people do with the men men's doing um unboxing no you don't really see a lot of men doing it uh, you know. So I hope you guys kind of like this <laughs> yeah. approach. And also any feedback. You know, I'd love to see some feedback. We're kind of seven videos in. I'd love to get some feedback from you all about what you think uh, you'd like to see for uh, from us or if you have any questions for a couple who can kind of roll not around. Financial, yeah. <laughs> not financial advice, marriage advice maybe, uh, bag advice for sure. Um, but if you have questions, you know, reach out to us, uh, put it in the comments and we'll be happy to either uh, answer them on the comments or address them in the videos or whatever in that. So. Other than that, I think that's it for me. So, bye. Thank, Thank you. You. You, want to, you want to pull them off together? Pull, no, them, pull one side. No, no. Pull one side. No. Pull one side. No. Pull one side. I would not. We're doing it together. This is the Handbag Husband channel. Just pull the side. No. Side. No. All right. So here Just we go. do it. <laughs> it, feels, it feels lonesome doing it by myself. I hate unboxing videos. Oh, uh, why? I don't know. Wait, wait. Sorry. Most of the time, when you see the people do unboxing, yeah. it's like, he was like, oh, ooh. Mm, I hate those. Ooh. I hate those. Like, do, I, do I need more like, I, like juice for it? Like, I hate that. I don't get it. Just <laughs> open the damn box. <laughs> all right, I'm going to open it. All right, here you go. There's going to be something that breaks in one of these unboxings, undoubtedly. Oh, yeah, someone oh. would get yelled at. Oh, yeah. Okay. Step okay. it back in the pillow case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
working on it. Hey, hey, you know, I'm learning. It's a learning process. 